Hello, this is Ron, WPSqueezePage.com. Today we're going to use my plugin and the Power Squeeze template to build a primi primarily image based web uh, squeeze page. Um, I'm going to be building this one. If you visit my blog, uh, the link should be below the video or um, next to it, depending where you're watching it. And I'll give you a link where you can join for free as a silver member and get about 10 of these. Um, I have access to like 36 of them, different ClickBank products. I'm not sure if they drip them in or if you can get all 36 as soon as you join. I'm not sure. Uh, but there'll be at least 10. So let's get started. I don't have a lot of time here. So. Um, see the page is blank I just created a name which I took right out of the um, HTML file uh, first thing we need to do if we leave this images here um, WordPress or your browser is going to be looking for all these images in your themes folder and we don't want to put them there because if you change themes then all these are gone so we need to create a new folder I've already done it for save time we need to upload all the images into that image folder and we also need to upload the video.swf and the video.flv um, you can also upload this one if you want but the downside of these pages is it doesn't show a um, control bar in WordPress. I will show you that in a minute. So we need to rename this. So in your editor just find the replace, probably edit replace and you just want to type the slash and whatever you named that folder. We'll just replace all and we'll scroll down now I'm not going to do it yet because of the the no control bar issue but you also need to to add that you also need to add this whatever your file name is before this video swf here and here but let's work on our autoresponder first they give you basic instructions for Aweber. I use Git Response, so um, whatever service you use, you'll need to look at one of your web forms you have for it. Uh, Git Response uses this URL as the action, so we need to put that in here, right where that hashtag or pound sign is. I need a you need your campaign ID and confirmation URL. So we'll just pop that in right after that. Um, different autoresponders use different field names. So Aweber just uses you're looking for input type text name equals name. Aweber uses name and email. Git response uses subscriber underscore name and subscriber underscore email. So we need to put that in. Um, some autoresponders, some other autoresponder services use like fname. Um, you'll just have to look at one of your web forms and figure that part out. Okay, so first thing we need to do is copy the styles. Remember, do not do not um, include the style line or the closed style. So we just go in between and we'll just copy that and we'll put it in uh, Power Squeeze the CSS box. Now 
grab our HTML. Again, don't include the body. Start at the line right after the body tag. And end it before the end body. So just copy that and pop it into here. Make sure you've selected the power squeeze. And we'll save it as draft. preview the page. Now, since this is all images, we're, we're going to have to add another little piece of CSS styling in here. Um, WordPress and tables don't always get along too good. And so we have all these white lines. Now you see the video, the video code didn't wrap um, WordPress added the extra line breaks and paragraphs. If you watch my my other video on making a text space page, I told you to go download WP Unformatted. It's a WordPress plugin that shuts off the auto paragraphs. Um, you just create a custom field named Sponge with a value of one, and that'll disable that. So we'll come down here to custom fields. The first time you use it, you'll have to click enter new and type in sponge. After that, it'll be in here. Just select sponge. One, add the custom field. And that'll get rid of this text where the video is supposed to be. Refresh it, those are gone. Um, I will have this little snippet of code in the PDF file when I update it for version 1.4. Um, I'll see if I can get my programmer to figure out why this is needed. Let's see if we can find a workaround that will work both with text and images. But for the moment, I'll just add that. It's just a line height with a very small line height, so we'll get rid of these white lines. Save the draft. refresh the page and there you go now if you add if you have any text in the page you're gonna have to wrap it with paragraph tags I will show you that real quick oops I need to start the TD shrink this window down a little bit so you can see this. You know, right here in the bottom this text is overlapped on top of itself because of that line height. So if we instead of including that in the table I'm going to end the table add a paragraph around it can see the text. Now ideally we want this in the middle and so I'm going to do paragraph style text align center with the class of credit And 
there you go. You can have links to your privacy code, um, whatever links you want. I kind of stole this from the WordPress page at the moment. Um, your blog, RSS, whatever you want to put down here. Um, that's all there is to it. Oh, video. Mustn't forget the video. Okay, there's two places to put it. For the param name video, just put the same location as your images. I don't know how loud this is going to be because the speaker's on. But there's your video. So, that's all there is to it. Either below this page or to the side of it is a link. You can go grab my plugin. And on the blog, there will be a link. I'll actually build this page on WP Squeeze page. And I'll show you where to go get some of these templates for free. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.